Okay, hey, what's up YouTube? I'm just doing a quick video on my tinctures. I just wanted to share with you guys. Maybe it'll bring you some education on it uh, or not. But anyways, showing you um, the different tinctures that I have here. Um, this is a tincture that I made here almost 20 days. We're at 19 days right now. I labeled it. I used an uh, Everclear, as you can see. And I just processed it back into the bottle, the Everclear bottle, so that way I don't have to worry about buying a jar or whatever. So I bought enough of this. And where I got this was from on eBay. I also bought their um, their uh, pills that you take, uh, raw forest foods, uh, what is it, pine pollen. This stuff is pretty cool stuff. I actually noticed some health benefits from this. Um, this is something that I would probably also consider taking because it's not just aspects of testosterone, but there's a lot of adaptogen, uh, meaning there's things that help you regulate your body uh, with amino acids, um, minerals, and uh, vitamins. So check it out, research it. Uh, there's a lot of info on this out there. So take one to two a day. Uh, they also sell this uh, pine pollen uh, in uh, powder form where you can make your own tinctures, and that's this one here. So I don't know the type of p uh, pine tree pollen they use, but I just wanted to show you a comparison of the ones that they study on the NB NCIB or whatever the uh, National Science Laboratory Research papers are. You can check it out on YouTube um, and, and um, also uh, on Google and f find out what they actually base testosterone studies on. And that's the Pinus sylvestris. So, um, so here's the one that we get. I, get. I think they are out of Utah. And so this has been there for about 20 days. And I just wanted to show you the difference between the two. So this is Pinus sylvestris. I ordered this on XD uh, online. I got, uh, it's like uh, 30 bucks per 50 grams of powder. And the Pinus sylvestris so I ordered two. Um, and then I processed it and then put it right back in the Everclear bottle. So um, this has been almost 20 days. But I wanted you to see the colors between the two. So um, I'm not sure if... If the studies, there's any research on this type of pollen that they get out of Utah or, you, you know, domestic U.S. pollen. Um, but here's the ones that they actually did do studies on with testosterone, where they found evidence of testosterone. Um, so here we can see the two difference in color. And the texture, you know, they say that this is fractured or milled or whatever they do to it to break it up a little bit more. So here's this one. And uh, it's been in here, like I said, about 20 days. And you can see that amber color. It's like uh, li uh, lighter <laughs> or piss yellow. And then here's uh, the Sylvestris, uh, which is, by comparison, you can see is considerably darker. The texture is also different. Um, I don't know, you can see that it's a little bit grainy in there. Um, this one was also supposedly fractured, but you can see the color is a lot darker. So these here are what I processed, and these are the concentrated aspects of this pine pollen. So what I do is the alcohol Everclear, 190 proof, there's no way you can sustain that in your mouth for 30 seconds to a minute. It'll literally burn your mouth, uh, I can tell you from experience. So what I do is I put this, uh, I get the alcohol, I put it in a pan, uh, and I set it on the lowest setting on an electric burner and allow the alcohol to evaporate out. Uh, and then there's still alcohol in it, but it concentrates down. And this is, the by, this is the final product that I have here I keep in refrigerator bottles. By the way, these are four-ounce uh, dropper bottles I got off of eBay. So... Um, how I process this powder is is I use my um, I take the alcohol and I take the um, pine pollen powder and I put it in my ninja blender here and I fill the alcohol I put the powder in uh, to about here and then I put in the alcohol and then if there's reserve alcohol I just leave it in there no problems because I'm gonna put whatever amount of, of uh, powder in here and blend it up so I set it on my two minute setting and I got to tell you the friction this thing creates when it's blending and impacting and breaking down the pine pollen so that it uh, you know the solvent actually uh, which is the alcohol uh, pulls the 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 the, the essence of the uh, testosterone off this uh, pine pollen will wind up susp uh, more suspended so this helps to break it down in my opinion, I don't know if it's a scientific aspect, but I give it three runs at two minutes. And um, I don't know if I sh if that's advisable, but I got to tell you, when I open this up, there's this liquid, the alcohol is actually boiling. It's so much friction that this actually heats up. So I know I'm doing a pretty good job. And when I process it, this actually becomes, it's kind of a weird consistency. 
Um, so here I'll shake it up a little bit so you guys can see what I got going on here. But uh, it, it's it's an unusual consistency. Yeah, that's dirty right there from the label. I tried to clean it off. But uh, the consistency of this pine pollen is quite interesting. So uh, what you want to do, by the way, as you're processing it, you want to take it and shake it up, agitate it every now and then, um, and uh, let it rest. So this will go clear again in about a day or half a day. Um, now, I look at the consistency of the Sylvestris, uh, Pinus Sylvestris. Like I said, it's got some aspect. I don't know if can, you can see it, but it's a little bit more grainy. I don't know if it's the because of the different how it's processed, but this is almost more sand-like. Um, so I don't know if that's a scientific observation, but I just wanted you guys to see. You can see some darker aspects of the um, pine pollen. I don't know if you can see it. There's two different variations of shades. So uh, anyway, so I'm going to process this tomorrow. But anyways, with the... Uh, with the uh, bullet, I want, or whatever you call it, <laughs> I pour all the liquid back with a funnel back into the into the bottle, the receptacle, and I use this as as a, as a receptacle. And then you can see, I uh, label what it is and the date with a permanent marker. So, anyways, <clears throat> what I do with this pine pollen is I get all the alcohol off, but then you got all that mash, the pine pollen mash. So what I do with that is I pour distilled water in it, shake it up and pour it out into a pot and I process this, the mash as well. So I boil the, the water with the pine pollen um, mash and I pour it back into the bottle and I let it um, all the pine pollen uh, separate back out and then the water is also an amber yellow. And then you'll notice when you boil it after, after you've already done your alcohol tincture, is that the pollen actually goes to a white color. So in my opinion, that actually processes all the rest of the amber substance from off this pine pollen uh, into the water and it suspends it in the water. Then I take that water, put it back in the pan, and then concentrate the water down so that I can fit all of my stuff into these bottles. So these are concentrated aspects of supposedly testosterone um, tinctures and you put them under your tongue so you can see I keep these in the fridge and you can see there's still some aspects so it's this is like the organic version I guess you want to say unfiltered so but yeah and so and it's actually pretty sweet because alcohol depending on the alcohol you use when it concentrates down it's really sugary so these are really sweet um, to taste so I, I'm gonna talk about that in a second uh, anyways so here I have out of Las Vegas, eBay, I actually went to their store, uh, but they don't really have a storefront. They just process stuff. But these are also the Pinus Sylvestris. The only other aspect of Pinus Sylvestris I could find in the United States that someone actually manufactures. So this one here is their alcohol tincture, supposedly the Pinus Sylvestris. Now they come in the uh, brown bottles. They market it in the brown. I just simply took the labels off of them. These are the original bottles. And I just put them onto the clear because I like to look at the clear substance or clear bottle and just identify the substance. But when you put it next to here, you can see this is their alcohol tincture one. This one's actually, I don't know if you can see that, it's more translucent. So I don't know how they process it, what it is, but they say it's Pinus Sylvestris. But when you look at this Pinus Sylvestris, it's pretty dark amber. So I don't know what the percentage of this is. Supposedly it's alcohol tincture pure. Um, no, no discredit to them. I just would like to get some more information about them. And they were nice people. I met them up in Vegas. So if anybody's looking for a product line that has Sylvester's, Pinus Sylvester's, you don't want to mess with it. Here you go. This is the company. It's, uh, Secrets of the Tribe. They're found on, uh, eBay easily, or you can just do a quick Google search. And like I said, they're in Vegas. Uh, and then here's their glycerin one, which they tout. They say glycerin supposedly has a better absorption aspect. And when you look at this one, this one's actually a little bit more amber. Um, let me shake it up. You can see some of the impurities, but it might be closer resembling the, the, the color here. So anyway, so that's just some information, some background on what I do here with my tinctures. Uh, you can find these bottles, like I said, on eBay, so they're convenient to get. And, um, you know, they recommend mason jars. So here are the, some of the mason jars I've used. So this is one, I, I guess, from uh, Walmart. And so there's two sizes. So whatever you want to do, that's fine. Now the alcohols, I was mentioning, you know, they talk about using uh, absolute or alcohol. This is uh, 80 proof. In my opinion, the higher the proof, the better the uh, solvent activity that you're going to have on the, on the product. So um, 
this is uh, put, I don't know if they make it from potatoes, where they get the alcohol from, but or where how they make it. But anyways, this is another one here. So that's eighty proof. I like the you know more flavored alcohols. This is ninety nine bananas, which is ninety nine proof, a little expensive, less expensive than this one. And if you're looking for flavor profiles, there's all sorts of alcohols you can use. So. Well, 99 bananas makes uh, 99 whip, 99 orange, 99, all, all different flavors. So it'll give you a nice taste if you like banana flavor. Uh, and then here's the Everclear. This you can't buy in every state. Some states don't allow this to be sold. Uh, here in Arizona, no problem. This is 190 proof. So when working with alcohol, especially on the stove, you really got to be cautious not to have an open flame and allow that flame to somehow... Uh, get to the vapors that are coming off. That's why I put it on low. Another suggestion is is you can dilute it with water and that way it lessens the concentration of the alcohol but it's just going to take longer for you to evaporate all that stuff out. So just do your research you know, and figure it out yourselves but I'm just telling you what I do. And these are some other tinctures here that I got going on. This one is very bitter. Uh, this one is, uh, I don't even know what it is. I had it labeled. That's why it's important to label. Uh, this one I believe is ginseng. And I set these aside because the flavor profile is extremely bitter. I should have never made tinctures out of this. This one is, uh, oh, this is green tea. So, yeah, with, oh my gosh, it's horrible. I mean, horrible. And this one is uh, the turbidilis, I think it is, the tetris turbidilis. I'm not, I'm not pronouncing it right, but what they use for testosterone enhancement or to help. So, very bitter. <laughs> Anyways, I hope this video helps you guys. Um, you know, if you have any questions, please. Don't hesitate to ask. I'll be happy to answer. Good luck, guys.